First of all, I want you to know that everybody's face is asymmetrical. And also everybody's body is asymmetrical. Even your organs, they are not evenly distributed. Hello beautiful face yogis, my name is Tina. I am a certified face yoga method teacher, the manager of the Facebook community and part of the face yoga method coaching team. Today I want to talk about asymmetries in the face. And if you enjoy today's video, hit subscribe below. First of all, I want you to know that everybody's face is asymmetrical and also everybody's body is asymmetrical. Even your organs, they are not evenly distributed. You have your spleen on the left side, your liver on the right side, and some of you are right-handed, others are left-handed. And this leads to stronger muscles in your one arm and your one shoulder. We all have one side, left or right, which is more active. And we all have a preferred side when it comes to taking photos, right? Let's do a quick test. Interlace your fingers like this. In my case, my left thumb is on top. Maybe some of you have the right thumb on top. It doesn't matter. This feels quite normal, right? I want you to change it. So I need to place my right thumb on top. That doesn't feel normal, right? It feels weird. So try to change whatever you are used to do with one side, do it with the other side. For example, brushing your teeth. Are you doing it with your right hand? Try it with your left hand. It is a mess in the beginning. Or carrying your bag over one shoulder, change it. When you carry your bag on one shoulder, this shoulder needs to be up. Otherwise, the bag would fall off, right? And if you do that for several years, this shoulder will stay up, the muscles are more tense and definitely not in balance. Sitting cross-legged, the side where the leg is on top, this side of your pelvis will be up and your entire spine will be out of alignment, including the cervical spine and at least the head and the face. Don't change sides or legs here. Both feet should be on the ground all the time when you are sitting. When it comes to facial asymmetries, the posture is the key. If you want to have a symmetrical face, start to work on your body posture. Our bodies are asymmetrical and so are our faces. We are used to doing some facial habits more with one side and we have small muscular imbalances, which are very natural. But we can avoid getting a more asymmetrical face, develop more muscular imbalances. We simply need to take care of everything we are doing more with one hand, one leg, one shoulder, with one side of our body and also with our face. Chewing food, for example, when we are chewing more on one side, the chewing muscle will develop more volume on one side and this can cause facial asymmetry. Maybe your nasolabial fold will get deeper on this side. Your masseter muscle will be more prominent or you will develop dimples and pouches. Are you lifting one eyebrow all the time? You can do a simple test. Can you lift your right eyebrow like this and also your left eyebrow? This is not easy for me even. When you smile, are you smiling with both sides of your face equally? Check it in front of a mirror. Smile and check the corners of your mouth. Are they both at the same height or is one corner higher than the other? Most of us have a dominant eye. Sometimes this eye is more open and the non-dominant eye gets a little bit more droopy over time. And you can see my right eye is the dominant one and it is a bit more open, especially in the evening when I worked in front of the computer all day. The eye exercises are wonderful. I always take a break doing just the no more tired eyes. 
You can place one hand on your forehead to make sure that you are not creating wrinkles. And then you look up and very slowly you move your eyes around one direction and then the other direction. And I just open my eyes a few times. I always cover my dominant eye for the last few ones to wake up the non-dominant eye. We all have one hand we are used to do things with, like writing, and we cannot change this. But we can change a lot of other habits and activities and movements we are doing in a certain way over and over again. I want to invite you tomorrow. Try to find as many things you are doing with one side only. Check every single movement and do it with the other side. Look into the mirror while you are speaking, chewing, laughing. Can you see imbalances? Can you find asymmetries? If so, we do have wonderful programs that target each and every area of your face and help you to balance your facial muscles and get a more symmetrical face. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you loved it. Continue your face yoga method journey with a free face yoga routine. Click the link in the description to download your freebie routine now. Have a great day, face yogis.